What's up guys? We are at the FNSA KU powwow. After my last video was about the alumni powwow, showing all the different people that used to go to high school. <laughs> but this one is specifically just for the culture, unification, and celebrating who the heck we are. They're playing hand games right now, is what y'all hear. So, quick little outfit of the day. Every child matters. Remembering and honoring all boarding school victims, survivors, and ancestors that went through abuse and tried to have the culture and the way of our people stripped away from them. I honor all of the ancestors. I spread nothing but love to y'all and so much gratitude. Because without my ancestors, I wouldn't be going to the school that I'm at. I wouldn't have a lot of the rights and benefits that I do today. Every time I step on campus, I always honor all energy and souls that are on campus. Because high school used to be a boarding school. And it's very important to find the love and unity within all of this. But also to remember, never forget our past. The way we can create a better and healed and stronger future. Or other outside entities cannot mess with us. Sovereign nations, remembering who we are, and continuing our legacy. So this is what my shirt represents, and I'm very proud to wear it today. I love all my ancestors, and I spread so much healing and love to all families that have had any of their family members in boarding schools. My media pass, shout out to y'all, shout out to everybody that watches my videos and supports the mission. Our purpose is unite all people together, put indigenous culture on the map, no matter where you come from, no matter what you look like, and to spread the love of healing with all people. <laughs> so cute. Hi guys, I'm here with Bad Alaskan. What's up? So I'm Bad Alaskan. Um, I'm Alaskan native and black and Portuguese, making music and, and activism here in Lawrence, Kansas. And I went to Haskell. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, Haskell represent. But yeah, we're here at the KU powwow, and I've just been performing. It so good. Awesome. Yeah. Y'all, her music is like soul changing, and not life changing, but like soul changing. Yeah, it's so definitely supposed to be meditative. Um, I played a, a meditative ballad about uh, black hair today. So. Ooh. I missed that. Yes, it was good. It starts off with, you must first learn that you are stardust. How your spring form hair is an iteration of the Big Bang. Wow. Anyway, so I call it Big Bang. Yeah. Where can we find any of your music or social media? I'm on SoundCloud under Bad Alaskan. Okay. I'm also on Bandcamp, and I have an Instagram page. More to come. I'm getting on Spotify. <laughs> I'm doing all that. So, um, But right now, SoundCloud's really the, the best place. That's where I put my tracks first. Good to see yes. you. Yes. Thank you for interviewing me. Yes, this is my friend, guys. Oh, I'm uh, Wakia Yanka from the Hongtua Nakota Nation. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> what were you just dancing in? I was dancing in the uh, inner tribal. What an inner tribal is, is just basically for anybody that doesn't either have regalia or for all like the dancers to practice. Like that's why you see a lot of women and children out there. So that's what I was just doing. I like doing, uh, you know, traditional dancing because there's no judgment, no pressure, no competition, just practice and pure spirit, you know? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Y'all yeah. are going to see a lot more of him. He has a lot of dope knowledge that I need to share with uh, everybody. I'm just a che with child, so just a common man. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Eric. My name's Connie. Hi guys, and what tribe are y'all? Chickasaw from Oklahoma. Here at Lake Paiute Trap from Nevada. And what class are you at high school? I'm a junior. I'm a freshman. Dope, dope, dope. Can we get some fit checks today? Got this at back, son. Okay. <laughs> Got this at back, son, okay. right? Okay. This shit's all from JC Penny. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, stay in there, yeah. Wait, what are these specifically? Mutton. Mutton sandwiches. Specifically lamb, mm -hmm. if you want to get down. What are they called? Yeah. Mutton. Mutton sandwich. Mutton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Got green Fair chili food. in here too. Man, I gotta get you guys on some Snapchat here. some good medicine, ladies. Give us some good prayers. Gusta bailar? Yeah, wow. <laughs> yes. Es mi amigo Fernando. Este <laughs> Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah. Sí. I think I have a good one, maybe two. Yeah, I love Palo Santo. Uh, okay. Oh God, I got you. Okay, ready? More younger. I got you. ¿Cuánto está saliendo? Sí. ¿Para tu pica? Uh, de aquí. Oh, How about? Like, uh, after eight, is it? Okay. Close. Otro. Yeah. Sí, no sé. Sí. Es un power. Es un power a las ocho de la noche. Es... Uh, a veces, toda la noche. ¿Tú piensas? Oh, no, I, I, uh, 
Okay. Eight o'clock. Okay, I'm close. Yeah. Okay. So see you later. <laughs> muchas, muchas, okay, muchas Lorena. gracias. <laughs> Adios. Lorena, very nice person. <laughs> de corazón. De corazón, de corazón. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I love it. Hi, Hi. Again, back again. Hello. Hey, did you buy anything? Yeah, I bought this. I just, I just bought this just now. I'll buy it. Ooh, I like the way it sounds. Yeah, I had to. I, I had Ooh, to. Ooh, has a bell. Okay, that's where it sounds coming from. Mm -hmm. I've been watching them dance, and it is a lot of work. You have to jump rope every day or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially like the ones where they're like on their. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that called, do you know? It's um, it's either northern or southern traditional, I think. And then there's like buckskin. It's a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah it's a lot, cool. Yeah. We learning, we learning. I know, I might go sit down and watch. Yeah, there's room, people keep coming and going. I know, that's all I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to sit. Hey, you can't sit in the sun, it feels good. Okay, where y'all sitting? I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Just ring your little bell and I'll, I know. I'll, I'll find you. Hey. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Dog shot cake. Dog shot. Do a taste test. A taste test. Yeah. First impressions. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, I like the way they pop. <laughs> as long as they pop, I don't choke on them. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? I'm going to a sweat lodge or called the Nipi. It's a ceremony where we go into like this little kind of like a hut made out of cottonwood, and you put tarps over it. And it's like one of our ceremonies we use to heal ourselves, like the body, mind, and spirit. Sweat lodges, they're very difficult. You know, you're going to suffer in there because the point is to suffer. To heal is you need to suffer. And so it's like, you know, you get these uh, river rocks and you heat them up until they're red, glowing. And then you put them in there. And those are our grandfathers. They're the ones that first come. They're called Eon. Eon is the rock. Grandfathers, those are the oldest of us all. And you, when you go in there, you put the water on there. Water's beneath, you put it on there, and that steam rises up, and they have like the hand drum in there, because you gotta have your ceremony songs. So what they do is they call in the spirits for you to uh, help you heal. If it is a little into intense, and it is your first time, what you can say is this word is called Madakia said. You always gotta keep in mind is yeah, you can get out if you're suffering, yeah. and you can handle, but if you're in there with other individuals, you gotta keep in mind they also have prayers. And they're also trying to heal. So you gotta fucking tough up, you know, buck up. Yeah. And uh, just I'll go through it. Oh, you know, and like if you're in the sweat and you've never been before, I recommend don't sit in the back. Cause a lot of people think if you sit in the back, it's not it's not gonna be as hot. But it's like the hottest because the, the steam from the middle of there rises up and goes around the dome. It's the hottest. So you wanna be a little bit closest to to the rocks as you can. And it's it's a lot of steam heat. So you're gonna need a towel. And you feel like you can't handle no more, just find the ground. Because sometimes they have carpets and stuff in there. So you find the ground and it's the coldest. And you just breathe and you breathe and you breathe and you just handle. You're not going to die. Yeah. You're not going to die in the sweat. It's going to feel like it, but you're not. Just that part of you, that sickness that is poisoning your spirit is going to die. And when you come out of there, it's you're re new. You come up refreshed, you know, to be healed. How long do you usually sit in the sweat lodge for? It depends on the ceremony, what you need is. Some people only go in there for like an hour or two, but depends wow. on how many you got and depends on how many rocks. Some people only have seven rocks, some people have 40 rocks. And how hot it is and how far they go and how many rounds they sing for a song, because you got... Oh, you sing as well? Yeah, you're in there singing. Somebody's with a hand drum wow. and you're singing and you're singing. And you do uh, four push-ups. Say one push-up is two verses. So you got your lead that you sing, and then you sing your verse, and then you sing the verse again, then you do the lead again. Do that twice, that's one push-up. So you do all those push-ups, and after that, it's supposed to be like, uh, you know, cleansing for you. Wow. Yeah. That's, a, oh, that's amazing. Well, yeah. have a great time tonight. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, most definitely, and it's good for the spirit. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right, peace. Doksha. Hey, Miss we got our Afro Indigenous representation. What's your name? Ray. What tribe are you? Dakota. Okay. Apache. She's Cherokee. Hey. Roddy. Cherokee. We come in different shades, all types of hair textures, and everything. We're out here and we are uniting together. <laughs>
Oh, you know that. You know that? Warm up. Yeah, warm up song. Hi, how are you? Let me. Can I say, can I say hi? This is my Hello. friends. Miss Debbie. How are you? What tribe are you? Muncie. Nice. Very good to see you. Good to see you too. What do y'all What do y'all been doing? This yeah. is one of my old girl scouts, dear. Yeah. And hi. Her hi. Three daughters. I'm Lauren. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Two more That's behind nice. you. Yo, everybody that I am seeing today, I've met them maybe one time, maybe like three times at the most. My friends are different, but like the community is just growing and I love it. I really do. Manager, representing the Potter of the Nation flag, United States Army Desert Storm. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a nice round of applause for Postport 10 Water Savers, champion in their own right. Brenda, while we on, give us a nice wave out there, Brenda. Champion ladies, fancy champion, jingle dress dancer. And our royalty out there, right down and helping us out here, Shanat Evans, we could step forward, please. Water Save Princess Prairie Band, Potawatomi Nation, Postport 10, right there. Cheyenne Famero, Comanche Tribal Veterans Association. Princess, give us a nice wave, beautiful wave. Coming to you live from Cash, Oklahoma. Aspen Tribe, Iowa Tribe of Kansas and Nebraska. Asia Benelli, Miss Haskell. 2023, right up towards the, uh, towards May, they're going, excuse me, April. We're going to wrap it up on that title for you. Intertribal time. Intertribal time. We're going to go right on over to showtime. With us on the power trail. Time to rock your mocks, rock your rockers, rock those bustles. Let's dance. Ladies and gentlemen, the arena is open. You're going to come out and join your top and your toes and bopping your head and blocking it. Power time. Let's rock. Uh, Sean O. Evans. Sean O. Evans. Yeah, here we go, dancers. Here we go. You are live. Instagram time. Instagram time. Ah, uh, Sean time.
Okay, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all saw what it was like to go to an FNSA powwow. You got to see some Afro Indigenous culture, some of my friends, people that I've met, the community, Haskell, KU, everybody, everything. And also, y'all learned what a sweat lodge is because I didn't know all those details. Let me know if y'all like these type of videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. That way, you'll be notified when I post. Also, like I said, Shout out to y'all. <laughs> it's just like one small little milestone that just signifies in 3D all that we are becoming. And I'm so grateful for y'all. There's only one love and universal consciousness. And I love y'all. Blessed Afro Indigenous. Out. Peace.